Yesterday, this channel threw out a poll gauging what people expected out of the RTX 4070 Ti Super performance. And yeah, it seemed that overall, two thirds of you expected this to be a good day for Nvidia. Two thirds of you expected the 4070 Ti Super to overall beat the 7900 XT rasterization performance. And well, many of you might point out that, to be fair, the majority of voters expected the 7900 XT and 4070 Ti Super to be close in performance. Also, to be fair, twice as many of you thought the 4070 Ti Super would be a 7900 XTX competitor as thought it would lose to the 7900 XT. So, I'm just going to say it. For sure, the sentiment yesterday was that NVIDIA was going to overall win in reviews with the 4070 Ti Super. And I guess, actually, I must also point out that you have to remember that this poll was conducted on this channel, Moore's Law is Dead, where... I have been warning for weeks that I believe the 4070 Ti Super is overhyped and is going to end up more of a 7900 XT competitor than an XTX competitor. And yet still, people who watch this channel, a seventh of you, thought it would be an XTX competitor nonetheless, and two-thirds of you expected it to win overall. And so, yeah, look, I put out that poll yesterday because... Of course, I had already seen the data from a few review houses. I knew what the results were going to be, and I expected a lot of people to be disappointed in the 4070 Ti Super's performance, and I wanted to gauge ahead of time where the overall sentiment was. And, well, actually, I wasn't the only person who knew ahead of time what was going to happen, I think. I also believe that AIBs knew what was going to happen because they timed their $709 sales on the 7900 XT to end like an hour or two before reviews went live. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I believe AIBs temporarily pushed the 7900 XT even below the MSRP of the recent price drop from AMD temporarily because they wanted to pull people away from considering the more expensive models of the 4070 Super, and also they knew that once 4070 Ti Super reviews came out, they could get away with charging more than $709 easily. And well, if we put the results on screen from today, that's because they know that even at $750, AMD is charging $50 less than the 4070 Ti Super, which is a weaker card with less VRAM. And, well, honestly, looking at these results on screen, people, I have to admit that while I did expect the 70 Ti Super to disappoint, this is definitely at the bottom of my expectations, yet still. I mean, heck, even in ray tracing, and it definitely depends on the game if NVIDIA wins or not, but it, it doesn't always win. And Gamers Nexus didn't even find the 70 Ti Super to be more efficient than the 7900 XT, and neither did Tech Power Up. So I am sorry, I'm just going to say it. I don't know how anyone could consider buying this turd of a graphics card this week. If you're willing to give NVIDIA an extra 50 to 90 dollars for the 4070 Ti Super over the 7900 XT, that means you're willing to pay extra for a card that has lower performance, is less efficient, and it has less VRAM than its competitor. It's clear you'll probably just buy anything with a green sticker on it, won't you? And that's really all I have left to say about this graphics card in general. It's too little, too late. This needed to be $700 to really make any sense, in my opinion, in the current landscape. And the 4070 Super, frankly, should be $500 to really make a splash against its competitor, that also has more VRAM too. So I'm really just seeing more of the same mistakes two times in a row so far with the super launches. And well, here's the funny thing though. If you look around online right now, the card seems like it's going to actually be priced closer to $850 to $900 on average, at least at first. And well, I expect that's actually going to change what the average street price is going to be based on what I am hearing from my sources with regards to interest and supply of this graphics card. And I want to leak all of that to you now, but first in ad from Micro Center. Micro Center is the best place to go during their winter savings event. They have a Creality Ender 3 S1 3D printer for only $149, and they have the best prices on in-demand products, like the 7800 XT, the 7900 XT, and the 7800 X3D Zen 4 CPU that actually comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 for free at Micro Center, which is just absolutely insane. So if you're considering any of those products or any of the new NVIDIA Super graphics cards or the upcoming 7600 XT 16 gigabyte, 
I am sure all of them will be priced best at Micro Center if you can get to one. And if you're interested in doing an upgrade for your PC, if you've been waiting, I genuinely do think now is a good time to upgrade your PC. And if you also agree with me after seeing all those deals on screen, just remember that clicking the links in the description and checking out those deals alone helps the channel a lot. But also in those links in the description, there's a $25 off coupon which stacks on top of all those other deals they're doing as well and heck if you just visit their new store in charlotte they'll give you a free 128 gigabyte flash drive just for walking through the door so there's so many great deals there and they've been such a great sponsor to moore's law is dead support this channel by clicking on those links in the description and shopping at micro center today all right then let's get right back to this last week i actually decided to hold my 4070 super video for a day after the review embargo simply because i didn't really expect any surprises when it comes to 4070 super performance and because it was the first super card to launch this year i thought the more interesting thing to look at with that one was a sales analysis and i'm glad i waited because i was able to be the channel that broke the story that the 4070 super was selling absolutely abysmally despite some people on that day saying I was being way too trigger happy and declaring that the sales were bad. More data emerging since then has totally backed up my report. In fact, all evidence suggests that since the 4070 Super has launched, it's actually, if anything, boosted Radeon sales. Ouch. And so, anyways, do I expect things to go any better for the 4070 Ti Super when it goes on sale tomorrow? Well, of course not. Here is what I am hearing from the retail contacts I was able to get a hold of today before recording this video. So the first source here who works at a major online retailer, one of the biggest ones out there, said that they are seeing even less interest in this product than they saw with the 4070 Super before it launched. You know, people, they can see if people are searching on their website for keywords, and they're seeing less searches than they saw last week for the 4070 Super. They're also having less people call or message them, email them about when it will be available. And so they don't think the interest is really there compared to even the 4070 Super, which this person wanted to remind me sold worse than the 4080 did on day one, which at the time was considered a sales disaster. Additionally, and this is where I get the most shocking part, this person told me that they haven't received almost any of these cards, that the supply is possibly worse than what they saw with the RTX 3090 launch was a legendary paper launch out of NVIDIA. And well, the overwhelming majority of them therefore are above MSRP because they have almost none of them to sell and they're marking them up. Now, a second source, a person who works at a retailer as well, but a different one, said that a decent amount of 4070 Supers were supplied to them last week, but this time around, they're getting basically zero supply for the 4070 Ti Super, thus suggesting again, much lower supply than what we saw last week, which was already low supply for a launch. And finally, the third source that talked to me today, who works at a major US retailer, told me that we should not expect good sales for the 4070 Ti Super. Nobody is asking about it ahead of launch, and they don't expect their customers to be happy when they walk into stores and see that most of them are priced well above MSRP, especially because this is a person that told me that basically none of the above MSRP 4070 Supers last week were selling almost any at all. They expect that because most of the 4070 Ti Super is above MSRP, there's going to be a lot of angry people who walk in and then out of their stores tomorrow uh and also though supply is notably lower just like the other sources said and so they want to emphasize that if it does not sell out in the first week this has to go down in history as one of the worst nvidia launches yet and actually this person wanted to tell me that they got more calls for the 4080 super today that i'd already reported in previous videos was already getting some calls uh, according to multiple sources actually at different companies so at this point this person and other people i've talked to as well are expecting that the 4080 super is the one of the super cards that will sell at least okay after launch and they believe that this is because there are a decent amount of people that have been waiting for months to try to get a 4090 for 1600 dollars, and they're giving up they think the 4080 super is at least a little stronger than the 4080, so just like 20% weaker than the 4090. But then it's also, you know, $600 less, and that's just where it needed to be for the people waiting for an MSRP 4090 to just give up and settle 
for this. And they also think actually some of these calls are people that have seen 4070 Ti Super reviews and are realizing that if they would have just looked at the specs, they could have known this sooner, but that the 4080 Super is actually going to be a lot stronger than the 4070 Ti Super and that they should probably just pay the extra money for that if they insist on buying something with a green sticker on it. And so there you go. And again, I must remind everybody here that most of you watching this are probably watching this on January 24th. Ergo, the day the 4070 Ti Super actually goes on sale. This was recorded a day before that. And so I cannot promise you if it will or will not sell out. I cannot promise you. But what I can tell you is that if the 4070 Ti Super does sell out on day one or definitely even just like week one, that doesn't mean that it's a great seller because... The supply is apparently legendarily low, apparently almost close to a paper launch. And so really all we can conclude is that this thing better sell out if it's going to be considered a sales success at all. And if it does not sell out within the first week, then it's quite a sales failure, I would say, which also means that for whatever reason, if you're one of those people that saw 4070 Ti Super reviews and there's some specific reason you think it is the card for you, I would suggest not waiting to buy it when it goes on sale, especially if you want one at MSRP, because I don't think there's a lot of them out there. And if there's an exact use case for you where it actually is good value, and I could see some scenarios where it could be for some people, don't hesitate because I don't think there's going to be a lot of them. And I don't know that NVIDIA is really going to have more shipments of this card until possibly March from what I'm hearing. So don't hesitate. And, well, that's basically all I have left to say about this graphics card. I, of course, will also be covering the 4080 Super next week, and then the 7600 XT tomorrow or later in the week, which, on that note, I must say that the 7600 XT, although reviews are tomorrow and then it's launching, from what I'm told by retailers, actually from what I've been told for a while now, any card that costs less than $400, you kind of got to wait until the first weekend after it launches to really... Assess if it's a sales failure or not, because the cheaper a product is, the more people are likely to not rush out and go out of their way to get it right away. They'll just like wait for the weekend to either shop or go into a micro center or something. So I wouldn't make as many conclusions on day one for the 7600 XT sale simply because I think volume will be good and it is more of a budget product. But uh, either way, I'm sure I will cover it, and you're not going to want to miss that. So just make sure that you are subscribed to the Moore's Law is Dead YouTube channel so you don't miss that coverage of upcoming graphics products. Also, ring the bell button so you actually get sent the video when it comes out. And then also consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Note that just for $2, you can get access to hundreds of Die Shrink episodes that are always ad-free and always only for Patreons. A new one will be coming out this week with zero ads. And then, of course, you can discuss this video with me uh, on the Discord that you'll get access to. And you'll also be able to submit questions for guests and so on. And it's so much more. But I guess if you have the extra money, please consider doing that. But to everybody else, no matter what, thank you for watching.